In the E7, uh, kind of we um, use most of the the knowledge I learned in the school for design things. It's really give us a good opportunity to practice and uh, to rethink what I learned and review all of this. And also the opportunity to learn from other students and each other. That's really uh, important. And the people in here are very nice because all of students, they, we don't feel like a competition. We just w devote our time and uh, try to make projects deliver on time. My name is uh, Juan Angulo and I'm an intern and I'm in the uh, document control department. Pretty much in document control what we do is we go get sets of plans from uh, different campuses, form plans, contracts, construction documents, all the documents that have to do with the architecture pretty much. The vault is right over at Traitic and that's where they keep all the record drawings and all the uh, contracts, change of orders and stuff like that. What we're trying to do is build a digital library that we're going to put online so people can access the documents for all the uh, nine LAC CD colleges. The other interns also use them here, like when they're building a model or doing an animation. We scan them and then they use them as reference to build a BIM model. I'm Sidney Alfred and I'm on the uh, GIS team. Geographical Information System is an arrangement of computer hardware, software, and geographic information that the people interact with to integrate, analyze, and to identify relationships, patterns, and trends in the data. We will eventually have a uh, complete inventory of all the drawings of all the campuses. We want the uh, users of the system to be able to interactively, anywhere, as long as they have access to the internet, access those maps, access that information, and be able to find out varied information about the community college district facilities, campuses, programs, and so forth. My name is Dmitry Vinogradov. Uh, I'm Luis Hernandez. Our role here in the studio is system solutions, and what we do is that we provide customized programs and programming projects for the studio. Among them is a web page. The website is a set of uh, design guidelines, mostly for the architects and the people who's going to design stuff uh, for the campuses. And our project is to put all the data and create the design. Luis is working mostly on a database. My job is to create the interface. One of the projects that I worked on was a video streaming here for the E7 Architectural Studio. It entailed building a video streaming website, starting with the web server, uh, with a, a database server, and then actually bringing all these technologies together into a web page and streaming it on, onto the internet. E7 has really helped us out a lot by keeping us busy at here and you know but but at the same time providing us the flexibility with the schedule the flexibility with our projects and pretty much this is a great experience for most of the students what we do here at E7 is we take the 3D point clouds that are created of uh, existing buildings at LA CCD campuses. What a point cloud is basically it's a 3D laser scan of a building. They set up markers at surveyor points and they shoot a laser off of these around a 3D object. It could be around a one building or a, an, an area. This information is compiled and georeferenced, and you get a point cloud of the area that you that you're scanned. When you open it, you work with it in a 3D environment in MicroStation. But if you try to like to connect points from a drafting perspective, nothing's there. You can see it. You can identify what it is: building doors, windows, walls. What I'm doing is I'm uh, learning the MicroStation drafting techniques that are going to be necessary to deal with the point clouds that he just described. Uh, I'm doing that and sort of dabbling in point cloud at the same time and applying whatever uh, MicroStation CAD techniques I've already learned to do that. My name is Alex. Uh, I'm currently involved in the CAD team and post-production visualization aspect of this project. I'm Cassandra. I do CAD and I also help with the viz team. My name is Mendez. Uh, I work partly uh, with CAD, uh, head of the CAD project, and I also help on the side with the BIS team. My name is Gerard. Uh, I work on the BIS team with animation. 
basically we get the drawings from the architect and we begin to build it in CAD, in architectural desktop. Um, we study the drawings to make sure we understand how the building is constructed and then we start building it. As part of the CAD team, we're trying to uh, shift from CAD drafting to BIM modeling, building information models. With BIMs, we use AEC objects, which is a tool that architectural desktop provides where each object that you make is not just a solid object. It's not just an extruded square. You know, it, it's a wall and it knows that it's a wall and it, the display properties are inside of the object. They're embedded in the object. So they're ba it's a basically intelligent objects. And when we build our model, it's an intelligent model. And it has all this information tied to it. It's not just, you know, a sculpture that you made that looks like a building. Once we build the cab model, it goes into uh, 3D Max. What 3D Max allows us to do is to do a lighting simulation on the building and kind of get a realistic sense of how the building's going to put on the site, too. Uh, we use real world lighting in Max, so it does give us accurate daylighting and shadows. I know that LACCD is concerned about environmental issues and they're cooperating with the LEED program. The work that Viz does, the Viz team, it raises environmental questions like uh, how the building, you know, the context of the building, how the scale is compared to the buildings around, or how the style of the building fits in with the surrounding environment. Using lighting is important because it shows those environmental issues. Most of the work here is done by interns, and the interns come from one of the nine campuses uh, of LACCD. Uh, I began here as a pilot intern, and I came in from Trade Tech. And two years after, I came up to the rank of a project manager. The e Institute is really pushing the limits of uh, what an educational model can do. It's sort of like an experimental model where we take uh, interns from the city college district, and they get trained hands-on to uh, meet the skills of the industry.